Church here with Rest and Rack, here bringing you a video on how to customize your Mares Genius. The Mares Genius. Best computer I've ever owned. So, a lot of you are wondering how I got this red siding on here. This is just the normal siding that comes on it. I've just painted it. Now, since a little bit of it's chipped from just wear and tear, I've decided that I will show you exactly how I took this apart and how I painted it. Okay, the first step is we need to get this plastic base plate off, the part that says Mares and Genius on it. And the way you take this off is right up here, there's like a little uh, clip in that holds it into the red bracket. We're just gonna lightly push here and see if we can snag this in between. All right, now that we've got that started, now there's two more clasps here on the side. What we need to do is we need to just carefully spread out the outer bracket and start moving it outward. All these components are plastic, so they should just pop right out. tight fit. Goodness, much tighter than I remember it being. Alright, there's one side. And there's the second side. All right, now, once you have this base plate disconnected in these three locations, the whole thing will just pop right off and slide off the button end. There we go, just like that. All right, now we've got our base plate off. Now we just need to get the part that we're coloring off. So, what we're going to do to remove this is switch screwdrivers from the flat head to the Phillips head. And we're going to avoid, let me get this up nice and close, but we're going to dodge the ones with the blue Loctite in here. Because if you take those off, this disassembles the actual computer itself and it will void the warranty because then water can get inside the computer and actually mess it up. What we're going to do is we're gonna take out this screw and this screw and these two down here. These are the only screws we're going to take out and this is the only part that's holding this plastic piece to the computer itself. All right, now all four screws are loose. This plate piece should just lift right off. All right, now we have the computer disassembled. Now, if you break either one of these two plastic pieces while disassembling this, both of these pieces can be ordered individually from Mares. You just need to contact your local dealer. That also includes if you break this. Um, I actually experienced a break on my first frame and had to order a new one. This is the second replacement frame I bought. Man, how did I get so many little sand grains in here? Oh yeah, now I remember. Okay, now you're no longer gonna need the computer or the base plate for this part, so we're gonna go ahead and move those aside, and we're gonna focus on the piece where we're gonna actually paint. So these four screws that are in here, we need to hold on to these. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and put them in a little plastic baggie or something where I don't lose them. All right, now I know that yours is going to be silver in color, mine's red. 
but both of these colors are the exact same where it's just an over color. The actual plastic part, like we need to sand all of this down to get it to where it's like this uh, plush white, almost transparent plastic. That's how you know that you got down past the paint and the primer. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna see how much we can thin down without scuffing up the outer plastic too much. 800. Okay, see right there? That's the color that you want it to be. Six hours later. <sighs> Screw this. Oh yeah, now we're making some headway. Two hours later. All right, that's what we're looking for. I mean, ideally it'd be looking like that all the way around, but I'm starting to eat away at the plastic in some areas, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. Time for primer. 3.28 a.m. So I let this piece sit overnight and let the uh, primer cure. Honestly, it came out a little less than perfect, but it's a dive computer. It's going to get beat up over time anyway, so this is good enough. You can always reapply as long as you don't get it too thick to where it doesn't sit on the computer anymore. You can check it at any time just by setting it on here. Though honestly, I'm low key digging that color contrast. Shoot, I might just leave it like that. <laughs> if I didn't think I'd get dirt and all kinds of junk in here from all my dives, I'd just leave it like this. Give it that robust, minimalist, technical diver look. Yeah, as awesome as it looks without those plastic pieces, it's actually pretty important to keep them on there because these pieces protect the screen. And if these break, you can order new ones and replace them yourself versus if the screen or something else gets broken in here, it has to go back to the manufacturer. So with that said, I'm kind of finding myself a little bit torn here. I don't know if I want to go with that SSI Pro Red or the Tactical Black. Hmm. You know what? I'm probably going to do this two or three more times. I'm going to go ahead and black this bad boy out. A few moments later. Well... I left it outside so it could dry, and it's upside down in the dirt. Oh boy. Well, crap. All right, so the fall chipped it up a little bit. Um, guess I'll spray it again on this side. I don't know how this is gonna impact it. All right, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you straight up, I'm no paint expert. I'm stuck here reading the directions on the stuff just like anybody else would. So in my reading, I see here it says apply a second coat or clear coat within one hour or after 48 hours. So I guess that means that since it's already been drying for two hours, I need to wait for 48 hours. Eh, whatever. I'll give it 48 hours then. 48 hours later. All right, it's been 48 hours. Let's give it its second and final coat of paint. All right, looking solid. Okay, let's see here. Dries to the touch in 20 minutes uh, to handle in one hour, fully dry in 24 hours. Note, on plastic, maximum paint adhesion and durability is achieved at five to seven Days? What? One week later. All right, we've been drying for a week. Time to add the enamel. The last time I did this, I used clear gloss, but this time, just because it didn't come out so great, I'm going to use Mod Podge.
Alright, that's finished. Now let it dry for two hours. Polish with steel wool. Wipe with damp cloth. If desired, apply more coats. Alright, let's hit it with a steel wool. It's coming off. Huh. Okay, so I let the Mod Podge sit overnight after painting it, and it literally just came right off with soap and water, so that's not gonna work. So, Mod Podge is out. Clear gloss, back in. All right, clear gloss, coat one. Got back its shiny black finish, like that. All right, now let's see what we need to do. Let's see, dress to the touch in 20 minutes. I bet you anything it's gonna have me let this thing sit for another five to seven days. Let's see, 30 minutes, it's 48. Note, on plastic, maximum paint adhesion and durability is achieved at five to seven days. One eternity later. All right, guys, it has been a week, two and a half weeks in the making specifically, but today we are going to reassemble the Mario's Genius. Now, I did leave it sitting for a whole week to let it cure, to give the edges plenty of time to adhere to the plastic. The reason being is last time I did this, when I put the faceplate on, the little snaps here on the edges uh, actually chip the paint right away. So, so let's reassemble this and hopefully it will not chip. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so we're gonna start by sliding it from the bottom up on here. Slowly slide it down into place there. Reinsert the screws. Don't cinch it down all the way. Now I'm not tightening these down all the way because you put in all the screws first to make sure that everything's seated. Then you go back around and tighten everything. All right. And also check around the edges to make sure that there's nothing in the middle Nothing's hindering it, keeping it open, allowing anywhere for sand and dirt and grime to get into the computer. This is the last part of the assembly. All you have to do is get the base plate. We're going to slide it over the buttons on the bottom. And we're going to just carefully snap here, here, and then the top snap here. And this is going to be the first test to see if this is going to withstand the abrasions of diving because last time I chipped it here on the side so all right good so far and all right and it's back together wow looks solid I like it all right now let's dive it
First dive, let's see how she held up. Uh, pretty good. We do have a little chip right there though. You know, honestly guys, I don't know if this type of paint is a good type of coating to put on the type of plastic that we're using for diving, but the important takeaway from this video is showing you exactly how to disassemble this to paint these pieces without voiding the warranty. Video helped. If you like content like this, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a new video. Until next time, church out.